Okay, now while this video is not about fixing anything, it's uh, more about fixing on fixing some things. Um, while I was out and while uh, everyone's replacing the CRT televisions with the flat panels, uh, one of the last restaurants I, I visit uh, had a flat panel TV where the CRT was. And I was noticing the shelf that they had the CRT anchored on and uh, I liked the design. And I need something for the um, I need something for the test jig. I have a 19-inch CRT test jig, and we're running out of room on the workbench. I didn't want to put it on the end of the bench, so what I've gone ahead and done is I've copied the design, where I've simply just taken a, a top from an old uh, particle board console stereo, electrophonic, or I think it's maybe a Magnavox or something like that, and you go ahead and put a strap on the wall and a couple of eyelets on each end and uh, and then some chains running diagonally up to the wall so the chain will hold the uh, the weight. What I'm hoping to do is put the um, the test equipment up here so we'll see how it goes. All I did was go to the hardware store and, and get some 30 pound chain and uh, measured it and hopefully we'll be able to put the two pieces of test equipment and the um, and the CRT test jig up here. This is the 19 inch test jig here and that's the B&K 1077 there. I also want to put the uh, the other B&K on top of it or underneath it. We'll see what happens. Well, in my calculations, I'm a little bit shy because I put the eyelets in about an inch and a half on each side, which gives me just a little shy of what I need to put the uh, 1077 here. I wish I had known I would have gone a little closer to the edge, but I wanted some support here. But we have plenty of other test equipment to put up there. Oh, and also this unit has a hole underneath, so if I do have to pass wires from the plugs through, there's a, uh, there's a hole underneath there. And I just make it, I got a little bit of space after the foot. Okay, version two of the shelf is, I was only off about three quarters of an inch for being able to put the uh, B and K's up there so I moved each I drilled another hole each a half inch out from where it was to give me an inch even though I needed a .75 so I went a little over a half half and a half would have been a half an inch I needed .75 half and a half well in any event I've distributed the weight amongst the chains with the adjustment here you can adjust the eyelet up and down so we'll try it again okay another uh, miscalculation is although I have the shelf low enough to uh, accommodate both B and K's uh, the ceiling is slanted there so although we have it on this side unless I were to put the monitor on over there and then the two B and K's over here but I have my uh, extensions here I have my convergence which I need to extend, my high voltage anode, and my yoke extension. Which has 70 degree on it also which, which intrigues me a little bit that uh, you can run a, a 70 degree tube off of this, a set off of this also. More on that later. Uh, but again, there's the shelf for the uh, CRT testing made from a, an electrophonic uh, console stereo lid and uh, oh, about $4 or so in uh, eyelets and chains. Thanks for watching.